Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to be talking about Evernote import folders. So I'm here in Evernote for Windows and what, we want, what we're going to do is solve the problem of getting documents or any other type of file into Evernote. There's a bunch of different ways you can do that of course. You can drag things into the Evernote application, you can clip them using a clipper, but the Windows version of Evernote comes with a functionality called import folders. And that can be really handy for setting up automated ways of getting stuff into Evernote. Or if you're using Evernote to go paperless, a lot of people want to have their documents both on their computer in a file system and in Evernote. So this is a good way to accomplish that. So we're going to do a very simple test. So we're going to go up here to Tools and then to Import Folders. And you can see here, We've got a section here where you can where you can show a bunch of folders and then we've got a button here that says add. So if I hit this add button here, it's going to ask me for a source folder to import files from. So I'm going to go through my folders here and I'm going to go to my documents and I've got here one here called to Evernote. And I'll just start one easy called Evernote Inbox. And I'll hit OK. And you can see here now I have some options. For starters, I have subfolders. So what that can do is it can watch for anything. If you have a bunch of subfolders under here, it will watch it and it will also import anything in subfolders. So I don't have any subfolders, so I'm just going to leave it at no. You can also define you can also define the notebook that you want it, it to import to. So this can be handy if you want different import folders to go to different notebooks, which we'll show in a second. And then you can decide whether you want to keep the source document or delete it. So for this purpose, we're going to keep it. We'll just leave it normal. So I'm going to hit OK. And now we've got an imp Evernote Watt import folder set up. So let's give it a try and see what happens. So I'm going to go to my inbox here, which should be empty because I'm a good Evernote processor. And I'll minimize. And here's my Evernote inbox folder. So I'm going to go in there and move over to the right. And I'll just open up another Windows Explorer folder here with some PDFs. And I'll just take this document and I'll drag it over to my Evernote inbox folder. So it's there. And now let's you can see down here at the bottom it says it took, Evernote told us that it's been it's imported that that file. So if we go here to Evernote, here you go. In my inbox in my inbox notebook, I've got that PDF. And if we flip back here to our Evernote inbox folder, you can see that the PDF is still there. So now let's change things up. We'll go to Tools, Import Folders. We'll add a new, another import folder. We'll flip down to my two Evernote folder and let's add Evernote recipes this time. So now this is, you can see here that here's my Evernote recipes folder down here at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on that line. I'm going to click on notebook and change it to my recipes notebook and instead of keep I'm going to set it to delete and now hit OK. So now if we flip back to Windows Explorer and I will change to my Evernote recipes folder that we just set up in Evernote. So now when I drag this PDF over to the two the Evernote Recipes folder. It'll copy it over and then we can see down here it's been imported. So now when we go check in Evernote, let's go to the Recipes folder now and there it is. There's our PDF that we just entered in and now if we flip back to Windows Explorer you can see because we set it to delete, 
the file is gone and the folder is empty. So there you go. There's a, some quick tips on using import folders in Evernote. Unfortunately, only the Windows version has this functionality. You can do it in the Mac version using stuff like Apple Scripts or Hazel, uh, but that is for another video. For Evernote tips or other information on going paperless, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks a lot.